everyone, I'm at the Curse House uh, with St. Vicious, who's going to do the show. It's his show. He's going to coach me on how to do picks and bangs. Get out of here, Travis. It's my show. Hi guys, this is St. Vicious, and this is going to be episode one of Law Lessons. Today we're going to go over champion select and some tips for it. And to help me today in Law Lessons, we're going to have Travis Gafford with us. My name is Travis Gafford. I am an esports journalist, uh, most notably interviewing people at the LCS at I do like to play uh, League of Legends quite frequently. I don't tend to pay much attention to picks and bans myself. Like I find that normally you just ban the stuff that's OP at any given point in time. But I know that it can have a huge impact on what actually happens in the game. Champion select is just as important in your bronze or silver ranked game as it is in the LCS. Many games will get decided before you guys even make it on the summoner's red. And that's because there's counter comps and there's strong picks into certain matchups. And I think learning those matchups and learning how to pick properly is a really important thing to learn. I think a lot of people overlook it. Making a good team comp is like making a good sandwich. All right. Make us a good team comp right. sandwich. So this is like the tank right here, uh, you know. And then this is uh, this is like the support, you know, because it's just kind of uh, hanging out there, helping, making making sure everything moves nice and slow and nice and steady, and you know gets the team in a good place, All right? And then we got uh, the AD carry, so a little bit of, a little bit of this cheese here, uh, and this is I believe like the the AP carry, so this is like the meat, you know, hanging out in the mid, and then just on on top of that, I mean, what what do we need? We need uh, we need the jungler, right? So this is the jungler because it's like foliage, you know. So there, and then you just kind of—I like to fold it over, and you just have this really nice, like. Say, this is a monstrosity. All right, you got your support, mm -hmm. which is like the nice fluffy bread. Like he's got your back. Yeah. Right, and then you know, you know what you need in front of the support. You need the beef. All right. You need the beef. You need somebody up in front protecting this little guy down here. Yeah, He's gonna I don't hide. know how protected it is, but... He looks okay to me. Like, don't right. worry about it. All right. Then you need your AD carry up in there. Okay. Got your cheesy... Maybe he's playing Twitch or something. You got some cheese. All right. Then you need AP damage. You got some lettuce. You know, he's kind of nutritious. Yeah. And then, you know, you got that, that crazy guy up in the top lane. Like, maybe he's playing team or something. He's a wild card. You know what to expect from him. So, you need a little bit of that. Okay. That's, uh, That's the top layer. Right. That's a perfect sandwich. It looks perfect to me. This is it, like it's nutrition. So this is what a good team comp looks like. Alright. You should always go into rank following three points. Biting the bullet and playing the role that your team needs. And the second point you should follow is learning a champion to play in each of those roles and make sure it's an easy champion. And the third point is make sure you communicate with your team. Like Know what everybody wants to play, know what people are strong at. The more you know, about matchups and things that make good team comps, the better you'll do in rank. Now that we've learned about picks and bands, let's put it to use. I play support, by the way, so that's why I'm gonna be picking. <laughs> Who the I f plays support? Uh, you do. Okay. We're in. All, All right. right, so I'm not picks and bands. Yeah, you're not. You're not doing the banning. Yeah. yeah. So do you just ban like the OP stuff in solo queue? Yeah, of course. Okay. You don't tend to think like. Here's my comp or anything like that. Okay, let's say you're a main on a champion. I'll say like Bishu. Bishu's a mid lane main. And a lot of times he'll be doing the bans and the picks. And sometimes he'll ban things that are good against the champion he wants to play. But I think also importantly, there's certain champions that in the game, like even look in the LCS, Yasuo, Cast, and have like a major impact and they hard carry games. And they're almost always banned. So I think it's always a nice rule of thumb to understand what's really strong in the game at the time. And so now we're out of the ban phase, yeah? Now what happens? You watch and pick Teemo support. Okay. You just watch and hard. Well, I'm the support player, so... Exactly, so he's gonna take your role. All right. This is about learning. That could be an anti support. Yeah. Ask him. See, you didn't communicate. Okay, so that's an important part of this? Yes, important part of this is remember from the bullets. Communicate. I put support PLS. Yes, but you did it late. Okay. Maybe some guy is a jungle main, but it turns out he has like a really good Caitlyn. Uh, find out what everybody has that they can play good in, in other roles and just try to build the strongest team comp possible with everybody on their best champions. All right, so support, probably. You know, you're against a yeah. Soraka. They have very little CC. Okay, so yeah, I play support, and that's a Soraka. So what should I pick to counter the Soraka? Because I assume that's what I'm going to do is pick well, something that counters. the Chami guy is not really uh, He's not, not communicating. I mean, He's failing. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and assume that's Annie mid. 
Maybe. I mean, Crossing the fingers. Okay. Are you gonna? So are you gonna bite the bullet here and like maybe take mid? You don't need two AD carries in the bot lane. You don't need to be running Ezreal, Caitlyn, or something like that. I know you want to try something out, and it's it's probably gonna be pretty fun. But if you're going to rank people, I really think that's serious. And uh, I think picking tank when your team has a bunch of squishies. I think just follow that one point and. That'll just win you a lot more games. Since he hasn't talked, are you going to go support? I'm going to go support. Really? You're going to stick to you to play chicken? Well, I said support, please. So He did say please. I have 20 right, seconds. So what saved. supports would you want to play in Serac? Uh, new matchups and things like that? Maybe like Blitzkrieg? Yeah, things I can get on it. Okay, yeah. That's what I figured. I'll Wait, least... you're taking Exhausting at Soraka? I don't know. But, okay, so I guess that's part of it, right? Yeah, so, okay, knowing, so the right, knowing the right summoner. Soraka yeah. does a lot of healing. And right. she doesn't do that much damage, so Exhausting is not really going to do much. Yeah. So you want to be able to do enough damage to kill her. So I think knowing counterpicks is very important in solo queue. You don't want to be playing the, like a high mechanic change. Let's say, let's say you need to play top lane. Nobody wants to see you bust out the, the, the sixth game ribbon, where you're going to be feeding a Jax or something and just getting run over. Like play a safe pick like Nasus or Mundo. Things with low mechanics that are really easy to play, really hard to mess up, and you'll just be like a backbone for your team. And you guys now have enough, you have enough beef on your team. You have Blitzcrank. And uh, Uder, who both have CC, they're both tanks. You have the meat, you have your AP damage. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of CC. You already have a ton of CC on your team. So your team can pick almost anything they want now. You have magic damage, you have tank. Uh, so now, you, what do you need? What do you need, Travis? Uh, well, an AD carry would be nice, I assume. Everybody loves the range damage, AD yeah. carry. And then, what, a top winger? Yeah, it's top player. Yeah, you got your deer in the jungle, so. I think those are the five roles, right? Yeah, and oh. top lane can basically be anything. It's yeah. I, you know what? I hope it's Teemo. But Annie seems to have discovered far too late that I said support and is now somewhat upset about this. You know so. what's great about this? Yeah. Annie can go mid. Okay. Perfect. See, this guy, he knew ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Universal player. All right, okay, so, so... we got Jinx. Yeah, you have a Blitz, Jinx, lane bottom. So, okay. Jinx is really smart. She knew that you guys needed to blow up this rock and it's the only way you can kill her. And she just picked a bursty lane, so that's really great. And then you guys have a tank top to go along with Udyr. So you have a lot of meat, you have a lot of damage. Uh, you have the perfect team comp. What did you learn today, Travis? Well, I learned all about banning and picking champions and uh, how that relates to making sandwiches and just a bunch of cool stuff that happens in champion select and how you need to have like this really well-balanced team comp. You think you're going to go for challenger now? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty close to challenger already, so... Okay, what was your rank again? Uh, challenger. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching episode one of Lawless Lives the Same. I'll catch you guys next time.